Hi everyone. Uh, today I would like to share with you guys about this Zen Koan call when the Fort Patriarch Dao Xin visited Lazy Farong. So first of all, who is Lazy Farong? Uh, Lazy Farong is um, full name is called New Tou Farong, A.K.A. the Lazy Farong. Well, New Tou Farong, where New Tou means the ox head, ox head Farong. Um, actually, Ox Head is a name of a mountain called Ox Head Mountain. Um, those days, this Zen master, they would like, he liked to use the name of the place they were staying uh, as their own name. So, this new To Farong, he stayed near this Ox Head Mountain. And then, it is said that he meditated all the time, 24-7. And then, uh, some record also say that he Actually, he was offered uh, flowers by birds. Okay, always you can see birds uh, bring some flowers as offering to him. Uh, this sounds really ridiculous, but uh, if you read a book by Mr. Vladimir called The Ringing Saddles of Russia, uh, then I think you wouldn't, wouldn't be that surprised. Um, so this Fort Patriarch, from far away, he can see some signs uh, like colorful clouds that always appear around this Oxhead Mountain. Uh, maybe it's aura of a place that's showing some auspicious sign. Uh, so he know that there's some, some extraordinary people staying there. So he went and visited. So he went and then he saw many monks around there. So he asked, is there any spiritual people here? And the monks Say, we all are. This Tao Sing went further and asked, Who then? Who is the spiritual one? And they could not reply. One of them say, It's not far from here, you will find someone called Lazy Farong. This is what we call him. Uh, he meditated all the time. He do nothing else but meditation. He don't even say hi to anyone. I don't even show any respect to people like uh, this gesture of respect, you know. Okay, so maybe he's the one you are finding. <clears throat> Actually, he is not lazy. Uh, the other way around, he is very hardworking. But hardworking on spirituality and not on the other thing. So this Tao Sing went further and seek for this lazy Farong. <clears throat> and he went and found, finally, he saw that this Farong was meditating, just like what they say, he did not react to anything. So this Tao Sing went further and wake him up from meditation and asked, What are you doing here? This Farong answered, I'm witnessing my mind. And Tao Sing further asked, He asked two questions in one short sentence. Guan si he ren xing he wu. It means, first, who is the one that is witnessing the mind? And second, what is the mind? So this lazy Farong could not answer. So he woke up and paid a respect, a gesture of respect. And this Farong asked Tao Sing, Where do you stay? And the Fort Patriarch Tao Sing answered, I don't stay at any fixed place. It could be east, it could be west. So when he say that, I don't stay at any fixed place, he doesn't mean literally, but there's a hidden meaning that the consciousness is very vast. Your, your vast being is not trapped in any particular place. So those days, they always answer with this uh, sentence with two meanings, something like a pun. But Farong missed the hint. <clears throat> so, Farong asked, Do you know Tao Sing? And Tao Sing said, Why do you ask about him? And Farong said, I would like to pay him a visit. And Tao Sing said, I am Tao Sing. He was so surprised and said, Then why are you here? And the patriot said, I come for a visit. Is there any place you can stay? Is there any other place that you can rest or we can rest? 
actually he is also asking like uh, where is the place that you find it you'll be at ease but he missed it again but he replied literally Farong replied and said ah there's a small hut there I stay there so he bring this uh, Taoxing to that small little hut and when they reached that little hut Taoxing saw some traces of wild beasts maybe footprints so he made a gesture of being terrified like and Farong say ha huh, you still have this part in you maybe he said ah, you still have this fear in you and master Tao Sing say what did you see this part in me what did you see and he could not answer and then after a while the master Tao Sing he went on and wrote a word on the sitting place of Farong. What word was that? He wrote the character Buddha for. So Farong was very shocked and uneasy because there's a place that you put your butt onto it and you wrote Buddha for. It's such a religious sacrilege is a disrespect to Buddha so he was shocked and uneasy and then this Tao Sing turn around, turn around and say just like what he said just now ah you still have this part in you <laughs> so this Farun couldn't get and now he got down his knees in respect and asked for Tao Sing to teach him the truth, the ultimate truth. So this Tao Sing say a lot of teaching, including uh, this all spiritual methods, all virtues that you are developing, learning, or your psychic power. They all are. They are all within your consciousness, and you already have it all the time. It's an intrinsic nature. You have it all the time. Never once you lose it. And you are nothing less than an enlightenment one. You are nothing less than Buddha. And do not follow greed, do not follow angles and sorrow and so on and so on. The objective parts, you don't follow so much. <clears throat> and he further say, from now on, live freely. And you need not practice awareness. You need not practice mindfulness anymore. This is also very shocking to Farung. Probably because uh, this mindfulness is still in a dualistic state. You still have the mindful one to keep the mindfulness, and then you have the observant, okay? the object that you are being observed. Okay? So it's still both. The subject and the object is still in a uh, opposite position. Uh, we have a metaphor. It's as if two buffalo they are fighting each other uh, the objects and the subjects they are still fighting each other so this Tao Sing asked him to let go the method that you've been practicing is enough is enough now so just let go the methods and then Tao Sing say this is what I got it from the past patriarch okay from the first patriarch and second and third and fourth now I pass to you and then he also gives some uh, uh, prediction that you will have five successors and from this enlightenment that I pass to you you will find five successors okay this is the uh, ultimate teaching of the lineage now I pass on to you well new Tau Farong is not the uh, sixth or fifth patriarch because he is the site lineage he is of the site lineage uh, of Zen from first second third fourth and yet he's not the fifth, but he's the side lineage. Uh, <clears throat> so, after this, after he got the real ultimate teaching from the fourth Saint Patriarch, he become very busy. Uh, because now he got the ability to teach and share now. 
<coughs> so uh, he was promoting this teaching. He find a lot of learners, seek circle, uh, truth seekers. And there was once it was recorded that the place was lack of food, and he need to went very far to ask for donation, something like forty km away. He need to went all the way forty km to and back every day carry some rice or donation uh, because it is a it was the ration rice for 300 monks so now this is not lazy farong anymore now he become busy farong instead okay and then there was another koan here is the koan within the koan after he become busy farong no more lazy meditating but busy teaching and sharing his enlightenment the birds no longer come to offer him flowers so different from before why is it so this is another koan that truth seekers like to ponder upon so this is about how this uh, Tao Sing visited Farong uh, thank you very much for listening I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.